Have you heard comments like these and thought, how could that be? There is a DAS in this building. Well, near far may be the problem. Near far is a term describing performance reduction when a mobile device is operating within a DAS coverage area but being serviced by a distant macro cell tower. When a macro user enters the DAS coverage area, they need more powerful signals than DAS users to communicate with their tower. When those high power signals are received by DAS antennas, the DAS remotes attenuate the uplink path in order to protect the DAS receivers. That induced uplink attenuation impacts the DAS user's signals, causing degraded performance, potential loss of service, and or reduced battery life. As a macro user gets closer to the DAS antenna, the signal received from their device requires increasing amounts of compensation. When the limits of compensation are reached, the macro user overwhelms the DAS, the link shuts down, and the DAS users lose service. The macro users also experience degraded performance when they get close to a DAS antenna. Since the DAS transmits broadband noise along with wanted signals, macro users hear more noise when they are close to DAS antennas. As broadband noise increases, a macro user's throughput decreases. As the macro user moves closer to the DAS antenna, the noise floor continues to increase, degrading performance until service is lost. This broadband noise can affect public safety if they're not on the DAS. Fortunately, NearFAR can be solved with a revolutionary DAS solution. For more information on NearFAR and Westel's DAS solution, visit westel.com slash nearfarsolution.